praise the Lord. It's good to be back once again. Sharing from my heart and obviously showing on the Ten Commandments series. Praise on this May 10th, 2010. Uh, by the way, happy belated Mother's, Mother's Day to all the mothers and obviously fathers. Uh, you know, I'll be saying that in June. But, uh, I'll, I would be saying that, but you know, it's in June, obviously. But, uh, this one's actually a good one. This is uh, the fifth commandment, and that is honor your father and mother. Like I've mentioned before, and I know I sound like a broken record, you can follow up on, on all the commandments in the book of Exodus, the 20th chapter in, in the Bible. Now, honor your mother and father. What does that mean? It means, kids, don't treat your parents like trash. But I, you know, and, and I know I'll probably I'll probably get an earful about this, but I believe this one works hand in hand. You know, kids, honor your parents, they'll honor you. Of course, if you treat your parents like dirt, they're going to turn around and treat you like dirt. I mean, it's, I, I think it's just basically that's how it is. You know, uh, you know, honor your, you know, kids, honor your parents, parents, honor your kids. Of course, honestly, kids, you treat your parents like dirt, obviously you're going to pay the consequences. It doesn't take somebody like myself with 30 years of experience that I know I'm, I'm looking like a slum go figure. Mostly because I'm 99.9% asleep tonight. Amen. Ugh. But, you know, honor your parents. That's the most important thing. And everything. And, you know, same, you know, same for the parents. Your parents honor, honor your kids. And everything they do, even if, even if you don't want to, <laughs> even if you don't want to, and I can and I can say this from being on the receiving end of it, but he, you know, parents can make changes, even if you don't want to, on your kids, through good times or bad, because believe it or not, when they need a word of encouragement. I, for example, like, you know, moving away from your, your friends, friends or, or something else happens and, and you you don't have a friend to talk to, on, you know, on your kids. Because believe it or not, you're going to be a crying shoulder for them to be on. Now, uh, and I've seen this out in the world, so, so I can honestly say I'm a witness to this. To the heads of the households out there, uh, and I'm sounding serious, and I'm I'm being serious about this. It's fine to be the head of the house, but you know, and I know I'm going to come across sounding hard. Don't be a jerk of the house. You know, I want to use a different term, and most people people can probably think of the term I want to use, but I'm a Christian. I'm not going to use that that life. So I'm just going to say this. You know, don't be the jerk of the house. And also, parents, and I've, and there's a few out there that I've seen. It's fine to have rules, but don't have a coffee table, one of them coffee table Bible size rule books, where you got your kids so boxed up that they even br make the tiniest of mistakes. You know, it's the end of the world. I mean. You know, if anybody's looking for role suggestions, feel free to leave me a message. I'm not afraid to I'm not afraid to step up to the plate and say, hey, you know what? It's fine to have rules, but don't bury don't bury kids under so many rules. That's why uh, if I've I've seen a lot of kids out there. It's because their parents I've got them so buried under rules that basically the kids are literally in this what I, what I consider a zombie-like pattern where they just they, they are completely empty to the world uh, and the world around them and honestly that's why a lot of kids are literally you know they'll count down the days to when they're out of there up from underneath their parents' roof. So, I'll be honest with you. 
don't <laughs> don't bury your, your kids and kids and I know there's a lot of them out there because I used to be one Yeah, I know it seems weird here. I'm, I'm 30 years old. Kids, true fact. Parents were not just dropped on the planet. They were kids once themselves. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm still a kid at heart. Most people who know me, I'm a, I'm pretty much a four-year-old trapped in a 30-year-old body. Go figure. <laughs> well, there, there's the movie of my life. What? 17 again. Never seen it, but I got a feeling it's probably like a mirror image of my life. <laughs> but, once again, kids, honor your mother and your father. And parents, honor your kids. And I believe relational, relationship aspect lives and dies at square one in home. The kids just remember. Remember that if you don't learn anything else, honor your mother and father. And not just when you feel like the 24-7. I love you guys. Take care. God bless you.